Hi, I'm Marvelyn Brown with Making It Remotely, and today we're going to talk about uh, income generating systems every business needs. So when we talk about generating income and we talk about building systems, a lot of times people's eyes will glare over because they think that building systems involves something that is complicated, long drawn out, too techy, you know, something that is just totally not within reach for the average person. So a lot of people really shy away from, um, you know, trying to or attempting to build systems. And we talk about that a lot here at Making It Remotely. So I thought I'd do this video to kind of break down exactly what we mean when we start talking about uh, building systems. So the reason we want to build systems is because for handmade creators, uh, people who serve an audience by either writing, capturing images, uh, making things in general, crafting, painting, decorating, designing, sewing, crocheting, embroidering, and drawing, you know, these are people that do things with their hands and they're making things that take a little longer. And this is a totally different business model than uh, someone who is selling a ready-made product. So, you know, if someone's selling a finished product, they just get the product and they put it in front of the right audience. When someone buys it, they ship it out. But in the case of a handmade creator, they have a whole creative process. They have to, you know, come up with ideas and then they come up with, um, you know, unique creations that they're making. A lot of times they might be personalized or special, specialized products in some way or something that makes them unique, right? So there's a totally different process that goes into handmade items. And what we're finding is there are a lot of, tools that are out there that can really help you be more productive, but at the same time, you know, you bring something unique to your projects, whether you're, you know, helping someone solve a problem with uh, your creation or you're personalizing something for an event, you have um, a unique process that you have to go through in order to deliver your product to your end user or your customer. And so this is why creating systems will help you when it comes to adding additional streams of income. So you have a stream of income that you make from your creative product, but you can add additional streams of income using the methods that we help you with here at Making It Remotely. And those income streams can really work to help you boost your business boost your income while you're still able to concentrate on those creative projects. So I know for me, I enjoy doing those handmade uh, one of a kind pieces, but I know from firsthand experience that it takes more time <clears throat> and I'm not going to be cranking out, you know, 200 pieces in a week's time. If I'm making something, for example, if I'm knitting something, I have a, a knitting machine that will do a certain number of products for me, but then I also have to add in my personal touches, right? So I'm not going to be able to crank out, you know, 200 items in a day or in a week. And it would take the fun out of uh, doing my creative projects if I had to meet those kinds of deadlines. However, in order for me to really make a, um, you know, life-changing income, I would need to really crank out a lot more products that I'm, will, that I'm willing to do um, in a week's time in order to make the kind of money that I'm looking to make. And so the same thing happens for other people as well. The longer it takes for you to create your product, the, and, and a lot of people, you know, when they charge for their products, they factor in the amount of time that it takes and the fact that it is a uh, handmade item. <clears throat> but even with that, you can still fall short on your income goals, depending on what those goals are. So as a handmade creator, there's several things that you need to think about. Number one, how long it takes for you to make an item. 
Number two, how many items can you make within a given time? So say for instance, a week. How many items um, you're making and then how much you charge for those items is gonna tell you about, on average, how much you're gonna be able to make from whatever it is that you're doing. Are you able to reach your financial goals with your current volume? So with you know where you are today, what you're making, is it bringing in enough money for you to you know reach your goals? Whether that's transitioning from a nine to five job and making your business, your home business, your full-time income, or whatever other goals you might have uh, set for yourself. Now, if you're not making enough money, um, you know, doing what you're doing now, would it be better for you to add more uh, staff, like add more people to increase sales? So have additional people working to help you, you know, crank out more of the products that you're making. When you do that, a lot of times it ends up <clears throat> costing you more uh, when it comes to your production costs. So when you add more people to your staff, you may have to also invest in things like more equipment, more space. You may have to train your new staff and there may be you know, some other expenses that you really need to factor in. The other thing is when you add staff, you have to think about how are they gonna get paid? How are they gonna start making money? Also, you might also need to think about benefits. So this is how, this is what we help you with here at Making It Remotely. Because uh, handmade business owners have unique challenges when it comes to balancing, you know, making the products that they love, the things that they started out making and making enough money, right? Making enough money to have life-changing income. So the way that we help is, and this is what I found in my business, and that's why I decided to help other creative business owners, is I found that adding online communication platforms that are easy to use with calls to action that complement what you're doing right now is the best way to grow your business, increase your sales without having to add more staff and also without having to, you know, send out a lot of your production to third-party uh, providers. So when you add a third-party provider, that gives you the volume. You know, you can, for example, during the holiday season, you can send stuff off depending on what you're making you can send stuff off, uh, you can send some of your items off to other companies that will handle that volume for you. But there are still costs associated with that as well. So for example, if I am making things like t-shirts and mugs and uh, tumblers and things like that, I can send some of that stuff off to a print-on-demand company and they can handle that volume for me. They're gonna take care of printing, they're gonna package it up, and they're gonna ship it out. But at the same time, I'm gonna pay more for those items, which means I have to mark up the price of my products. So I'm gonna to have to pass that those additional costs on to my customers, which is not always a good thing. So if you wanna keep your prices reasonable, then you're gonna to have to figure out a way to um, you know, to be able to make your products and make quality products, put your unique individual talents into making that product and giving your um, end user or your customers a very um, high quality, unique item. Of course, you can use things like artificial intelligence to kind of speed up the process, give you more ideas, etc. But when you're using artificial intelligence, that takes away some of your creativity and your uniqueness. So you can still kind of bake some of that in, <clears throat> but it, you know, all of it is a process and you have to factor in a lot of those things when you're making your products. Now, another way to increase your sales as a creative business owner is to partner with other entities. So you can form partnerships with other business owners. Um, if you're a blogger, you can partner with other bloggers and you can create these groups 
that, you know, you can work together and grow together as a group. And that is how a lot of business owners are growing their businesses as well. So instead of you wouldn't go out and partner with your competition, you would go out and you would find people that complement what you do. So whatever it is that you're doing, there is a supplier, there's, um, there are accessories that maybe go with what you're doing. Maybe there's some products that you can bundle together with other business owners. Maybe you can, um, you know, make your, uh, business, um, you know, part of maybe what you make part of a package or a box or a convenience item that works with other products from other companies. And that will enable you to, um, to grow your business and to kind of help uh, cross promote each other. So another way of doing it is by becoming an affiliate with some of uh, the retail stores that complement uh, the things that you make. You can also make niche related products. So if there are niche related products that complement what you do, you can partner with those companies as well. So lots of ways that you can increase sales and really scale your business and have passive income that you know comes into your business on autopilot while you work on your individual works of art. And uh, this is the way that I found that really works a lot better than adding additional staff or outsourcing. So these are some of the ways that we can help you um, increase your sales and build your business. Um, number one, you wanna have more control you, you're never going to have total control over what happens before someone visits your site or visits your platform, but you can have a lot more control than uh, you may have right now. So a lot of people, what we found is a lot of people um, use social media the wrong way. <clears throat> they don't know how to utilize it. They don't know how to leverage it. And so we can help you with that. Um, we can also help you with lead generation. So Lead generation systems are critical for um, any business owner, whether you're a creative business owner or not, but you definitely want to have a lead generation system for your creative business because that is how you're going to be able to uh, follow up, to build a community, and to really get um, your, um, your, your relationship with your ideal customers built. Without those relationships and without the um, follow-up system that a lead generation system can provide, you are just, you're always going to be out there looking for people to talk to about your business. Um, you also want to have a shop or you want to have your products in a marketplace, somewhere where people can easily buy your products. So... In all these systems, whether it's social media, lead generation, or in your shop or your marketplace or whatever, it needs to be easy to use. Easy to use, easy to, um, you know, add items to your cart, easy to check out. And then your payment processing system also needs to be something, it needs to offer uh, payment methods that your um your ideal customers are used to seeing. So credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, uh, PayPal, you know, those are the, the primary um, methods of payment that a lot of people are used to using when they're online. So these are the things that are really gonna help you to generate more income and it will be passive income. So you can create um, active income. You can utilize active income when you're making your handmade products. You can also use passive income to um, add these additional streams of income. So making your, your handmade items and going to craft shows and setting up a booth, if that's something you enjoy doing, you can certainly do that. Um, but at the same time, in the background, while you're at the craft show or while you're at your child's game or while you're at, um, you're spending time with, you know, the people who matter most in your life, whether you're out there um, maybe networking with other business owners, while you're doing all these things, you're living your life, 
you can also be earning passive income. And so that is how we help you here at Making It Remotely. And we really, um, we make it e possible and easy for business owners who are creative people to continue with that creative process while they earn um, in the background passively. So next steps. The, one of the first things that you can do, if you're interested in learning more, you can schedule a free, no obligation, 15 minute call. And that way we can answer your questions. We can kind of get an idea of what your goals are. And we can even take a look at your site to see if there's some things that we can help you with. If there's not a fit, then we will be the first to admit that as well. If you know what you're looking for and what we can provide is not a good fit, then we will just move on and you know, no foul, no, no harm, no foul, as they say. Um, you can also get answers to your questions via email. So we have a form on our site at makingitremotely.com forward slash about. You can fill out a form and when we get that form, we will respond to you via email. And you can also download our free six page worksheet and video pack. And that will give you a video lesson on how to attract potential customers to your online business. And this is something that all businesses need. We need to be able to have the never ending supply <clears throat> of people. I have a cold, so I know I probably sound a little nasal, but um, I'll be done here in a moment. But basically we just wanna be able to, you know, talk to people about our business, we want to bring people into our business and have them work with us. And so the way that you can do that is by, um, you know, learning those methods on how to attract people to your business. And we can show you how that works. So um, if nothing else, get your free download and video um, and also schedule a 15 minute call. And we will see if um, there's a good fit between what you need and what we can provide. So I appreciate your time today. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you on the next uh, video. Have a great day.